let's take a few uh, a look at a few homework problems here or practice problems. Um, seven minus five, well, that's two. That's straightforward. Five minus seven. Well, you're subtracting off a larger number than what you have to start off with, so the answer to this problem would be negative 2. Another way of looking at this is that the signs are different because 5 minus 7 is the same as 5 plus a uh, negative 7, and the signs are different then. And if the signs are different, you subtract, so five minus, 7 minus 5 is 2, but you take the sign of the dominant number, which is the larger number, and the uh, larger number is 7. Looking at the absolute value of these numbers, it's 7 is the larger number, and uh, the sign of that is negative, so we'd have negative 2. Again, I think it's easier just to think about it. If the temperature is 5 and it goes down 7 degrees, we're at negative 2. But you can look at it as 5 plus a negative 2, uh, sorry, 5 plus a negative 7, and the signs would be different, so you find the difference, you subtract their absolute value, absolute value of negative 7 is 7, 7 minus 5 is 2, and the uh, dominant number was the 7, which has a negative sign on it, so it's negative 2. 7 minus 10 is the same type of thing as this, we're subtracting off a larger number than what we have, so the answer would be negative 3. 10 minus 7, just plain old 3. Negative 7 plus 5, signs are different, so you find the difference, you subtract 7 minus 5 and get 2, Take the sign of the dominant number, which is the 7, and its sign is negative, so the answer would be negative 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, back to this one now. Negative 7 minus 10, well, this can be looked at as um, a negative 7 plus a negative 10. And if the signs are the same, which they are when we write it this way, the signs are the same, both are negative, so we add them and bring along the sign. So the answer would be negative 17. And that would be the answer to uh, that problem, negative 17. Now we can just think of this as being negative 7 degrees and it dropped down 10 more degrees, dropped down because it's minus, went down 10 more degrees, so the temperature is negative 17. Same thing happens here with uh, problem 8. Uh, we have minus 5 minus uh, subtracting off 7. A negative 5 minus 7. That would give us a negative 12. It's very similar to this problem. The signs are the same. Add them and bring along the sign. Negative 12. This one we got a couple that the signs are the same. The negative 8 and the negative uh, 10. Because we can look at this minus 10 as being plus a minus 10. Okay, subtracting off 10 is the same as adding a negative 10. So maybe you might want to write that in there first. It's up to you. But if that helps, then uh, do that. So now what would we get? Well, negative 8 minus 10, the signs are the same. So add those and I get negative 18. Add 3 to that, go up 3 from negative 18, and you get negative 15. Okay, uh, you could have done, gone this straight across if you wanted it to. You could have done negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5, and negative 5 plus a negative 10, or negative 5 minus 10 is negative 15. Let's take a look at this problem here. Uh, we have uh, 5 and 2 are both positive, and that would give me 7. And then we have minus 8 minus 10, and that would be a minus 18. So now if we work this out, we take 18 away from 7, it takes us down into the negative area, or you could think the signs are different, and we need to subtract, and we would get a negative 11. A negative because we're subtracting off uh, a larger number. These use the same rules, just practicing with decimals here. We're adding on a number that's bigger than this negative number. So what we would need to do is, uh, that's going to give us a positive number, but seeing that the signs are different, we would need to subtract, and 4.5 minus 1.23 would give me uh, 3 point, and you could just line up the decimal point to do that, line up the decimal point and you get 3.17. And is it positive or negative? Well, it's positive because we're adding on a number bigger than what we have in the negative area here. We're adding on something bigger than negative 1.23, so that's going to take us up to the positive. Or again, the signs are different, so you find their difference, you subtract them, and take the sign of the larger number. Okay, and actually I think that number right here should be one point, and I made an arithmetic mistake, 3.27 when we uh, do the subtraction. Okay, let's go over to here, and we have 
1.26 minus 0.021. So we're just subtracting off a smaller number than the number we have. So just line up your decimal point and do the subtraction, and you get 1. Point, I think 0.05. And uh, cause, well, actually, no. Let's check it again. Lining up the decimal point. See, we have 1.26, and then we would have to uh, subtract off. Let's see if I can line this up here. We need to subtract off a 0 0.021. Okay. Now up here we could add a zero to that so that the decimal point is lined up. And now when you do the subtraction here, well, that would be 10 minus 1. Well, that would give me uh, uh, 9. Let me go ahead and get this here a second. 9. Uh, that would be 5 minus 2 is 3. And 2 minus 0 is 2. And 1 minus 0 is 1. So it would be 1 point. 239 as long as I did my subtraction right and I think we got it there yeah 1.239 okay and then a uh, couple more here this were both are are minus you can think of this as a negative 0 0.12 plus a negative 5.12 so when the signs are the same you add and bring along the sign the sign is minus so adding these we would just get uh, 5.24 and again it's negative on this problem, the signs are really the same because we can say this is a negative 3.4 and this we're adding a negative 3.4. So when the signs are the same, you add and bring along the signs so we get negative 6.8 on that problem. If this problem would have been negative 3.4 plus 3.4, then it would have been 0. On this problem, you have to get a common denominator. And before we even deal with that, let's take a look at the signs. The signs are the same, so we bring along the sign and we add them. And one half is the same as two fourths. Here's three fourths. Two fourths and three fourths is five fourths, or one and a fourth. And that one and a fourth plus the five gives me six and a fourth. So the answer to that problem is negative six and a fourth. And this one here, pretty messy uh, denominator on this particular problem. Uh, what I'd have to do first is get a common denominator, and the smallest common denominator is 24. So this negative 3 and 1 8 is really the same as negative 3 and 3 24 The 3 24 comes from the idea that 24 is the smallest number that 8 and 6 will go into. 8 goes into 24 3 times, and 3 times 1 is 3. So that's negative 3 and 3 24 plus Okay, 5, 6 is the same as how many 24s? Well, um, let me put the common denominator there of 24, and we say 6 goes into 24 4 times, 4 times 5 is 20. And now we are subtracting, okay, because we have the signs are different, one's negative, one's positive, so you subtract. And to take 3 and 3 24s and subtract off. 20 24 so we would have to uh, borrow from the 3 and making this 27 24 27 24 um, minus 20 24 is 7 24 and since we borrowed one whole number from the uh, 3 that knocks that down to a 2 so I get negative 2 and 7 24 and that's a pretty messy problem right there so there are a few um, practice problems uh, that are pretty rough when you get down here to the fractions, but you do need to know how to deal with decimals and fractions using those rules with uh, sign numbers.